So it's the off season, training camp is very soon. I can't wait, but I'm bored out of my mind, patiently waiting for the NBA to actually start. So what do I do? Well, it's simple. I watch Austin Reeves highlights to pass the time to ease the pain. I took a look at every shot attempt from him throughout his NBA career to see his tendencies, go-to moves, to see what makes him such a special talent. Leave a like, let's get 300 likes, but without further ado, let's break down his game. So last season, Austin Reeves from zero to three feet from the basket, he shot 83.3% at the rim. Three to 10 feet, he shot 55.8%. His ability to finish around the rim is one of the most underrated parts of his game in my opinion. He truly has a unique skill of making difficult layups in a multitude of ways. Here, he gets a pocket pass, he ball fakes to the corner, which opens up the left side of the basket, and he finishes wall contorting his body slightly out of control. He can absorb contact as well and still find a way to score the basketball, just like he did here versus a 245 pounder, Xavier Tillman. He has a great sense of finding his angles as well. In the pick and roll, look at him flaunting the right hand layup just to switch to his left hand in the end to avoid the shot blocker and get a bucket. He's also a fearless driver and will go at anyone and loves the contact. He gets a switch on Giannis and in his mind, he's like, this is a light work. Between the legs, wicked left to right cross, and then he veers into the path of Giannis to seal the easy layup at the rim. Against Rudy Gobert, an elite rim protector, he goes right to his territory, the painted region, using his sneaky speed and smarts to avoid his length for two. Lastly, against a 6'7 long arm Tory Craig, he hits the quick jab step a Rooney to shift him right and open the driving lane left. He never avoids contact he loves it two dribbles paving his way near the basket jump stop finish like a big guy let's talk about some tricks he uses to get to the rim so he has an opportunity to finish his go-to move is the old school triple threat jab step against Lamelo, he maneuvers the ball over his head whoop now Lamelo reacts he hits the burst of speed and he's gone he will react to what the defense takes away He's trying to set it up here, but the defender anticipates it, so he stops halfway and continues to the open lane left. Then he has elite footwork, up and under, perfectly executed on balance. My goodness. Now his go-to on-ball move is he likes to set up the defender with an initial move, and then the left to right crossover. Right here, behind the back, left right cross, look at the separation, the footwork perfect perfectly on balance and i showcased this play because he comboed the move with his other go-to the typical white man's floater he has this in his bag of course and he relies on it consistently if he can't get right next to the basket he also low-key has luca like d acceleration and pace to get around defenders and get to his spots Versus Lamelo Ball, he gets cut off, stops for a second, then changes pace to super fast while Lamelo is off balance. In the pick and roll, look at the pace, keeping the defender on his back, all to set up the quick Euro step to finish on the left side of the rim. He even hit Luca with his own secret weapon, blow by, then he slows down, acts like he's about to shoot or float it up. Luca falls asleep and now Reeves gets to the basket with the burst of speed with ease. I really love how he navigates through the pick and roll. He has mastered simple things that open up space for him to get his shot off. He pump fakes the three, he creates contact, left to right spin move, now Damian Lee is on the path to run directly into the screen and the mid-range jumper as a result is opened up, it's good. Notice him just seek contact on Karis LeVert, making sure there is no airspace for him to get through the screen, and it opens up another mid-range jumper. Lastly, versus one of the best screen navigators in the league, Drew Holiday, he hits him with the behind the back since Drew took away the first screen attempt. 
but then he hits him with the sneaky left to right crossover. Now Drew disappears from AD since he ran into the screen. And once again, Austin Reeves eases into the mid-range jumper. Overall, he's just a winning basketball player who has it ingrained in his head to always make the right play. Not only can he create for himself, play off ball, stretch the floor for his stars, but he also can set up his teammates while making the right pass consistently when he gets the opportunity to do so. Austin Reeves is one of my favorite players to watch because he isn't overly athletic, he has the fundamentals down, and it's from endless work and dedication. I just thought I'd share some of the things I took away from watching his scoring film, so let me know your thoughts below in the comment section, and if you enjoyed at any point, leave a like and subscribe, and check out my other videos. Have yourself a great day, and peace out.